Well, before the Winnipeg whiteout, part of the city was seeing a little more blue than expected. CTV's Joe Makishan now on the signs and one riding that of people seeing double. When election signs started popping up in this West Winnipeg riding, out of the blue, there suddenly seemed a lot more of it. The color for the Conservative candidate here, Marty Morantz, and Stephen Fletcher, who is running for the People's Party of Canada. Like, give me a break. While they're complaining about 50 shades of blue, I'm worried about the people of Charles and St. James and Sinaboy heading. Fletcher was the first quadriplegic member of Parliament, a former cabinet minister, a four-term Conservative MP with plenty of extra signage. Now CPC is changed to PPC. Blue paint covers the Conservative logo and there's blue tape on his jacket. It's environmentally friendly. Why do they hate recycling? The Conservative Riding Association wants the Conservative property returned, a legal demand that will take months to sort out, and the election is just days away. I'm just focused on what I'm doing, which is within my control, which is going door to door and talking to folks. It's a color controversy that falls into a gray area. The Canada Elections Act doesn't govern the content of sign, only their cost, which must be accounted for and authorized by an official agent. Fletcher says the signs were given fair market value in his campaign expenses. Liberal incumbent Doug Iolfson ran against Fletcher in the 2015 election and won. He said the then Conservative had 10 times as many signs on the streets. Uh, that's what I've been reminding myself is that signs uh, don't vote. Uh, it's the, it's uh, you know, the people that vote and I've been relying on the responses I'm getting at the doors. This riding has gone both blue and red over the decades, but this is the first time it's ever been this crowded on the color spectrum, a sign maybe that this Winnipeg riding is one to watch. Jill Makishan, CTV News, Winnipeg.